Shawneetown Museum is an increasingly popular area field trip destination that meets curriculum requirements for grades one through five in history, social studies, math, and science. Just don't tell the kids that. The hands-on nature of the Living History Museum has a natural appeal to children, and they are encouraged to touch the artifacts on display. A trained historical interpreter is with the students to help explain the artifacts and connect them back to the students' lives. Most kids, when they come out here, they really have no idea of what history is and connecting the dots between the 19th century, the 20th century, to their world today. You know, the, the 1960s, as far as they are concerned, to a, a fourth grader, might as well have been back in biblical times. So I think that's one thing that we help with by being a fairly recent museum and selecting artifacts to tell our stories that enable them to connect. We teach them about artifacts, we teach them about stories, we use local people's stories. We've interviewed a lot of people who lived in the 1920s. We've connected them with local stories, we've connected those stories with, with national stories about prohibition, about women's right to vote, about the invention of the radio, the jazz age, that kind of thing. When visiting Shawneetown, students are divided into four or five smaller groups, and each group will rotate through the different programs in turn. The programs are customized to fit the students' grade levels, and the programs themselves are consistently being revised and improved. The Two Market program focuses on the farmstead with its furnished 1920s farmhouse, tool sheds, and garden. They enjoy going through the house, the bedroom, the front room or the living room. They notice that there's no computer, there's no TV. So the question is, you know, how did people entertain themselves back then? Hey, you want to play some checkers? And they find out. They get to turn the handle on the phonograph. They get to sit on the sofa that's been reupholstered. They get to pull down a book and open it and see what people were reading back in the 1920s. The garden is very large, and so when the students come in the spring, they plant seeds. The other student groups who come in the fall, they're able to pull up something. We do bring science in because in the garden, we also have a presentation where we show them through various jars um, what a seed looks like after a week, two weeks, three weeks, all the way on up. Our melting pot explores the students' family histories and what the journey to America was like for their ancestors who made the trip to the new world. My favorite part of that program is that I ask the students beforehand to sit down with a relative in their home a grandparent, their parents, whomever, and get the history from that person of where they came from, how they got here, and then we map it. History Detectives teaches fourth and fifth graders how to read artifacts, discovering clues in the pieces that draw off the story each one represents. This helps the students realize the artifact's relevance to the past and its connections to today. History a la carte allows you to work with the museum's curator of education to customize the experience for your students. Mix and match our prepared programs to best fit your curriculum. Shawneetown has done a great job of making this um, great for the kids, fun learning experience. I love the farmhouse now. They get to go through and tour and really letting the kids experience hands-on doing the actual activities. So I think it's a great program for, for this primary grade levels. They're very patient with the kids. Uh, they seem to live the history, so it, they make it very believable for the kids. I think they do an awesome job here, with, with field trips especially. What we try to do here at Shawneetown Museum is we try and connect the dots that there is science that's used on a farm, there is math that's used on a farm, and we focus on a lot of the things that we still have today that people can identify with, a garden, telephones, automobiles. So it's not the type of museum experience where you come and you just marvel at how different things are. You do that to a degree, but you also marvel at, wow, I didn't know that they had that back then, or they had a version of what we have today back then. They can connect. They can go back to their classroom and continue talking about it. It's not just an experience that happens here, but it's one that keeps on, on going when they go back to the classroom.